Hello, friends from the future. We'd hope to be with you in person for this, but today is not that day. Uh, future versions of us, uh, current day to those of you watching live, can be found in the chat. Uh, we'd offer to answer questions there, though it's more likely that we'll have questions for you, as until a few weeks ago, neither of us had touched Crossplane. And us is, uh, I'm Jeremy Tanner, and I'm joined by... I'm John Luca, and uh, yeah, I never used Crossplane before, so we took a full week of testing, and that's where we are. So feel free to send any question to us. Yeah, or we'll have questions for you. So, what is Crossplane, Jeremy? <laughs> uh, Crossplane, it's right there in the name. Uh, Crossplane is meant to be a cross cloud control plane. Cross cloud. So this is for folks who are uh, wanting to do uh, multi cloud. The description is uh, an open source Kubernetes add on enables platform teams to assemble infrastructure, multiple vendors, high level service APIs, application teams without having to write any code. And being a um, Kubernetes add on, it's a Kubernetes system. Uh, so you know this. As Crossplane Community Day is happening attached to KubeCon, it's very likely that you have some Kubernetes familiarity. And uh, I mean, if I'm not a cloud provider or a, cl a cross cloud provider person, I'm just using you know AWS or or GCP or Equinix Metal. Can I still benefit from Crossplane or or not? Do you need it? No. Is it useful? It can be. Instead of if you're Instead of orchestrating multiple, the same service across multiple clouds, you could be orchestrating many services inside the same cloud. Uh, some clouds have as many, uh, you know, more than 100 different services. And so building those, uh, building those Legos together uh, manually instead of uh, by configuration can uh, take time. And so uh, there's still benefit if you're, inside a, uh, if you're inside a single cloud. So I want to tell you something. I learned SoulStack, Chef, Puppet, and I tried Pulumi. I know what Terraform is. And I also wrote not one, but two cluster API, API infrastructure provider. Um, so why is Crossplane different and why I have to learn it as well? <laughs> you don't have to learn it as well, but can be very <laughs> can be very useful. Um, so cluster API is looking to get uh, Kubernetes running. Uh, Crossplane doesn't necessarily have to be uh, Kubernetes that's running. It can be pretty much anything on that uh, on the infrastructure that you bring up. Um, Terraform and Pulumi uh, they create and destroy resources only when they're applied or run. Uh, oftentimes that's just the one shot when you're starting up or a rerun when you've changed something. Let me summarize. If I, it works as, as Kubernetes works for pods. So when you create a deployment or a replica set, when a pod expires, something, a control loop creates my pod again and Crossplane makes, makes that to happen for way more resources across cloud provider like S3 buckets or AC2 instances or whatever. Yeah. And a and a pro, and a provider can be uh, anything that has an API that has the um, provider written for it. Uh, oh. So that can be that can uh, order you a pizza every time it's run or uh, any. So yes, it can so orchestrate a, anything with an API. That's a very great use case for having a short, you know, cool cool time. So I want a pizza every ten seconds. That's how that's how it's gonna work. Okay. So and and you tell me that I don't need to know code much, but what does it mean? Okay, well, the claim was without having to write any code. And then I suppose the debate then is, is YAML code? And so uh, yeah. if it's, if it, well, I think we fell on, it's, it's serialized data, which isn't necessarily code, but you are going to have to write some, uh, you're going to have to write some YAML, but you're not going to have to write a custom operator, which is definitely something. There's already providers written for um, most of the infrastructure providers that you'd like to use, and so um, I'll, I'll I'll label this one mostly true, mostly true. And based skills, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, something cool about infrastructure as data versus infrastructure as code that made me think when I saw these slides um, that Jeremy obviously you did <laughs> is because it's cool 
because the state where you start from is the one that you declared has to do with pod, um, but it's it's calculated because it looks for the difference between what you declared. Uh, so I want, uh, you know, a situ or I want a pizza and what you what you actually have. So did I already get my pizza or not? If not, the reconciliation loop will uh, will kick it. It will kick the request and send me a pizza or recreate a resource that it's over. So it's very, it's a very nice, you know, differentiation to do that. If that I think you you made here, so absolutely. So yeah, I mean, everybody speaks about GitOps, and I want to know if I can, you know, push my YAML code somewhere. <laughs> oh, and so absolutely, there are continuous delivery tools like the Argo project that are uh, Kubernetes operators using the Kubernetes API. And so, yes, works, um, works perfectly well. The, so the way that you'd be managing um, uh, containers in the rest of Kubernetes can now manage uh, any sort of uh, infrastructure, networks, uh, machines, storage, and the rest. So what is cool is that it uses operators. So everything that is in the Kubernetes lens works with crossplane as well so that's that's very important but what if if i'm not running kubernetes what what should i do Ooh, not running as in you don't use kubernetes that's going to be super odd if you're a kubecon attendee but i'll allow it um, thank you it's it's maybe it's maybe not the tool for you um not running as in you don't have a management cluster running uh perfect um upbound who are the creators of crossplane uh they'll run one for you that's cool but yeah what what do, how I can start with Crossplane? Yeah, yeah. So to get started, you can either use uh, Upbound or if you like doing things like us the hard way, uh, you'll need some Kubernetes. So Kubernetes and Docker is fine. Just remember to start Docker if you, like me, occasionally kill it to keep your laptop fans from taking off the desk. Um, that Kubernetes in Docker, um, you can brew install, uh, kind, uh, kubectl, and helm um, if you're not using the, uh, the hosted version. Uh, once you have these, you'll install Crossplane via Helm chart into your management cluster, and then you'll take a configuration. And configurations are just the um, the setup of the uh, the app or the setup of the infrastructure that you'd like uh, Crossplane to bring up, and those will be associated with a provider. And so providers being uh, Equinix Metal, AWS, GCP, Azure that are uh, places where you've uh, given them a credit card, gotten in return an API key, and are then able to uh, bring, up, uh, bring up infrastructure. And so you told me that Crossplane will always do its best to keep my resources as I want. So exactly. That was the thing that, uh, that, was the thing that surprised me. So the thing to watch out for is to, uh, is to beware of zombies. The thing, like the things that you kill, don't stay dead. And so, if you um, if you don't destroy the resources in the right way, they'll come back in around thirty seconds. And so, if you create a machine with crossplane and then um, destroy it via um, directly using the API, or um, or if you destroy it inside a uh, inside a dashboard, it will uh, pop back up because you have a um, a spec that says, I'd like this machine to exist, uh, Crossplane will notice it not existing, and bring it back. So resources forged in the fires of Crossplane can only be destroyed in the fires of Crossplane. <laughs> so there is no resiliency without control loop in this time. So, but what's next, Jeremy? What, what are uh, the Crossplane people working on? We got up to speed using mostly our links from Crossplane.io. That's an excellent resource. Uh, we definitely have more questions. And so um, I'm curious how I might bring uh, resources I've created elsewhere on those providers under Crossplane's control. And so if you have a good idea how to do that, please hit us up on the Slack. Or if you think answering many more questions would be fun and you'd like to get paid to teach myself, uh, John Luca, and other friends about Crossplane, uh, Upbound is hiring a developer advocate right now. And so reach out to them. So I think that's it. No more questions for us, uh, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'd yeah, like to thank everyone for watching. We appreciate your time and attention. And additional thanks to uh, Marcus Johansson from uh, 
my team for clearing up some of the concepts and also to uh, the video recorded version of Dan, who is a wellspring of information on the <laughs> cross-plane project.